Hey there, it's Alicia. Welcome back. Today I am talking about my favorite beauty products and this is kind of a funny thing for me because I am so not a beauty expert. In fact, I went a really long time without wearing any makeup at all. I used to, I was just so low maintenance that I never could be bothered to spend a lot of money or put in a lot of time into my beauty routine. And then as I started to get older, I started to see that it was actually really helpful. And in fact, it became even a little bit necessary for me to feel good about myself when I left the house. So. I decided to put this video together with my favorite products because someone, a lovely lady in my private Facebook community, she asked what products I use and I figured, okay, I could talk about that because these are the products that I like and I definitely am seeing results from, but just bear in mind that I am not an expert, so this is not like scientific based or even official YouTube beauty vlogger based. This is just me telling you what's been working, what I like, because I want to inspire you if I can. Now the one thing that actually really does help me a lot with my beauty knowledge is that I work on shoots as a stylist and on every single photo shoot or commercial, there is a makeup artist there. So whenever I get a chance, I always go over to her station and I start touching all her things. They're probably really annoyed. It's like how I get when people start touching all my wardrobe on the racks. But I start looking at all her stuff and I'll start asking for opinions and suggestions. So they tell me what they can and sometimes if it's really slow, they'll even do my eyebrows. So that's been really helpful for me and then I've also started researching searching beauty vloggers and finding beauty websites that I can follow. So I've just taken all this information and I put it together to come up with a routine that works for me and that is what I'm going to share with you right now. I want to start off with the one product that I will never leave home without. Now this was the first thing that I actually became obsessed with. I don't know if I wanted to say addicted to, obsessed with, whatever it was. I, I started buying this product a long time ago. It was the first product that I was like, I need to have that. And when it starts to run out, like even like there's only a quarter left, I will order more because I cannot be without it. And that is this Laura Mercier. It is a tinted moisturizer. And I don't know how well you are actually able to see that, but it comes in, they actually just changed their packaging. It was a brown tubing for a really long time, but now it's black. I got my color, I know what color I am, so I just order it online. It's really easy, I get the nude color. And basically, this the promise that sold me on this product way back when I first bought it was, it's your face, but better. So it's like barely wearing anything, but you look a little better. And I actually believe that this is true. When I put this on, I feel like myself, but a little bit better. Also, I just wanna point out that I use a beauty blender to rub it in and I think this helps with a smooth finish. Now, I don't actually use the branded beauty blender. I was recommended to a fake beauty blender. It's called, it's by Real Techniques. And I'm not gonna show it to you right now because it's actually a little dirty and I'm not a beauty expert, I'm not a beauty vlogger, so I'm not gonna talk about cleaning your brushes and all that kind of stuff because I'm really lacking in that area. I need to do so much better with keeping my brushes and stuff clean. But the Real Techniques Beauty Blender, you know, you do the beauty blending thing that you'll find really easily if you Google it, and I just do that. And I think that really helps give the super smooth finish. The next product that I swear by and I use, well, I don't use it every single night, but I use it most nights, and that is this. It is the, I feel like these. this isn't really working that well, so I'm just gonna show it to you here, but it is the Prescription Strength uh, Tretinoin. Well, yeah, I use the Tretinoin cream, but it is the Retin-A, so it's Prescription Strength Retin-A, and I was, like, I wavered about using this because I went through this clean beauty phase where I wanted everything to be non-toxic and with good reason because those are healthy choices, so I tried to do it, and I was all, like, turmoiled about should I keep using the Retin-A, Retin-A, the dermatologist recommended to use the Retin-A. She was like, it's the best skincare product you'll possibly ever find. So she was on board and she's a doctor, but she's certainly not an alternative or holistic doctor. She's just like a straight Western 
dermatologist. So anyways, she gave me the prescription. I started using it and it really works well. So I have been filling this prescription now for a while. I used to get it for $5 with my insurance. It came out to $5 and I felt like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm getting this amazing product for only $5. Now insurance changed, blah, blah, blah. And it cost me more like 70 or 80, but it's a pretty big tube. And I can't even remember when I got this fill, but I just use a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. And like I said, I don't even use it every night, especially in the summer because there is, um, you're not supposed to really, or you need to be really protective of the sun when you wear it. So in the summer, I might skip a day or two, but now that it is cooling off and the sun is not as strong, I do wear it pretty much most nights, and I am pretty happy with the results that it gives me. The next product that I wanna share with you is a serum, and there's actually three of them. Now, I got on board with the serum train, probably like five years ago or something like that, I was introduced to them. Um, the vitamin C, that's the antioxidant one, which also helps in the sun. So that was the first one I started using. And then more recently, I started using the CoQ10 serum. It's this one. And then even more recently, I got into the Matrixyl Synth 6. Now I use the vitamin C as well and I use this in the morning and then I just put the uh, I put the CoQ10 see this is even getting a little scientific for me these names are names that I am not familiar with but they feel really good when you put them on so I just kind of put them all on together and I rub it around around my eyes and all that stuff and it is very soothing and moisturizing and there's all sorts of peptides and these healthy things that are really good for your face so I believe in these products and I you know they're not even that expensive the ones that I use so I just keep using them and I feel pretty good about it the next product is a hair product and this is called the kicker finishing spray wax it's by dry bar and I actually got this randomly I was uh, on vacation I was in LA and I guess I forgot my product, my hair products or something, so I was desperate. And I was at, I don't know, was it The Grove or Santa Monica Place? I can't remember exactly where it was, but it was like a mall, and I saw Dry Bar, and I just like beelined right for it, because I was like, my hair needs help. And so the lady showed me different products, and then I tried them. So this Kicker Finishing Spray Wax, I don't know if I bought a bad bottle. The aerosol is a little bit weird, and I don't remember it being like that when I tried it in the store, so maybe I did just get a bad bottle, but it is weird. So when I do it, like I have to set myself up so that it's spray, I have to like go over the sink and I don't wanna make a big mess because it kind of goes all over the place and I have to like put my hand over it. It's, it's a little bit complicated to use this container, but fashion. It works. I love the way it just kind of, you know, it makes my hair. My hair is really thick and can get frizzy and puffy, and this just allows me to mold it in a way that I like. The next product is from NARS. It is the Velvet Shadow Stick, and I love this because it suits my low maintenance routine. Really, all I have to do is just go boom, boom on top of my lids and it's done so it's really really easy and great for someone who just can't be bothered to do this like whole shadow thing which i do sometimes but on a daily basis i'm get up and go and i love this nars velvet shadow stick i am using the print is so tiny on here that even with my reading glasses on i cannot see what the name of the color is but it's like a gold and it suits me and i know that it comes in all all different colors so there are plenty of options to choose from another thing I want to point out that I do every season and this really helps my my makeup routine stay fresh is I go to a beauty counter and I sit down with them and then they do my whole makeover and then I buy the products at the end so the last time I went last season I went to NARS so I learned all about the NARS products before that I went to space NK which actually has all the different products. I was going to Laura Mercier for the longest time because I was so loyal to this brand. It was because of that tinted moisturizer. I was like, I want everything that they make. So I was going there for a long time. And honestly, this is really how I learned to do my makeup. I am not really good at doing makeup. I don't know that much about it. I don't like to spend a lot of time, but I want to look good and as I get older it's becoming more and more important that I, I have to do a few more things to meet that baseline of looking good that I used to get when I was younger so much easier. 
So the last thing I want to talk about is sunscreen and I wish I had a sunscreen that I could recommend that I love but the reality is I hate all sunscreens. I have never found one that I love. The Laura Mercier has a 20, an SPF 20 in there which I don't think is enough. I think that I should be wearing more. So this is the one that I have right now and I I found about this in a really random way. I think it was like a Reddit beauty site or something like that. I was diving deep into my beauty research. And it's Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense with an SPF of 30. So I was using this every day in the summer and it, it just made my face like, there was like these coat, this, there was a coat on top of my face. I'm still holding the velvet stick. Let me put that down. Um, there was a coat on top of my face, so I always still had to powder it, and it just never felt good. So if you have a sunscreen that you love, please share with me, because I'm always looking to find a sunscreen, because I want to wear sunscreen every day, because I know how important it is for anti-aging and all other health protection reasons. But right now, I'm not doing that good in that department. So those are the beauty products that I wanted to talk to you about today. I hope it inspired you. Maybe you want to try one of these or tell me in the comments below what products you're using and you love because I always am looking for new products, new skincare, all these new things. I love trying them out because I am such a sucker for the promise of a youthful glow. So that's it for today. If you liked the video and you found it valuable, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. And I do videos every week. So don't forget to subscribe because I will be back here next week with a new video. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye.